Welcome to first of May's God blessing starting with a new month and a new interesting vartan Have you ever thought about if you have a divine intellect pure feelings pure your thoughts towards somebody your relationship is good but if you have a impure intellect obviously you are suffering first and then the suffering goes on to the other person and it comes back to you in the form of karmic accounts and that's where it is it becomes impossible for especially for human beings to get a touching from the world around us just like animals they get a feeling of the earthquake or any kind of mess happening even before human beings can get it why because animals and human beings have a difference of their divinity in the sense human beings have become more greedy more jealous more revengeful more stressed as compared to animals so animals get the sixth sense to catch that thing which is going to happen now you too can get into that kind of phase it's not about becoming like an animal but it's about becoming someone who can have the sixth sense catch things even before they happen and what about catching things from god itself catching directions from god himself that's what we're going to explore in this beautiful vartan let's go ahead in his own words god says may you have the power of divine intellect the condition is what divine intellect and experience god's touchings it's not that he's going to touch you physically it's his thought vibrations his telepathy can be caught by you is it possible yes very much in brahma kumaris most of the souls are reaching that level and are focusing on that and become a master almighty authority master almighty authority that means i have an authority over my mind over my intellect over my body so a divine intellect is also referred to as the power of the intellect and with this power of your intellect you can catch all powers from the father condition is what divine intellect now if throughout the day you're thinking about taking revenge you're thinking about stressful things you're thinking about that person said this thing to me i'll i'm going to make sure that i tell him that or her that i'll make sure that i'll give it back to them it's not a divine intellect. If you're thinking about how come that person is growing in life, how come less and you're getting jealous, that's not a divine intellect. Who can help you to make a divine intellect? It's through Raj Yoga meditation. Your intellect gets connected with the supreme intellect of God, and through Him pours down the beauty and purity of His vibrations, and that helps you to make your intellect pure and divine. There's no other way. No human being has the power to make your intellect pure and divine. So that's what God says. you can catch all the powers from the father and become a master almighty authority there is the power of a scientific intellect yes they also have their intellect they go on the ground and they do all researches and they bring about something which is going to give sukha or give comfort to the body and that is a worldly intellect therefore they can only think about something of this world and of matter they also they're dwelling into five elements and trying to change them mold them to give comforts to the physical bodily human beings but can it give comfort to the mind temporarily we are talking about permanent comfort which can be obtained through spiritual powers in brahma kumaris you have the power of a divine intellect that enables you to experience godly attainment godly attainments are different as compared to worldly attainments with a divine intellect you can experience pure touchings from god so just like those animals who don't have greed jealousy hatred as much as human beings they have but not as much as human beings they are able to protect themselves so they get into protection mode and they still have a touching of vibrations of maybe the earthquake is going to come they cannot think about it or but they can feel about it same feeling is lacking in human beings because we got greedy we got jealous we got hatred we look down upon people we got uh, differences amongst each other and that is clogging our intellect and making it mucky dirty smelly actually so god says with a divine intellect you can experience pure touchings from god that's why there's a barrier we cannot get godly touching or godly kindness to what should i do in this condition father my malik or my god and experience success in every action you perform with the power of a divine intellect you can defeat maya in any attack she makes against you now maya is within ourselves maya can be somebody somebody else and they are trying to take revenge from you they are getting jealous of you and you can actually protect yourself with a divine intellect there's a method of doing that you can have pure divine feelings towards them till the time you make sure that they change 
not by force, but with your power of telepathy towards them. And it is possible, it is being experienced and experimented in Brahma Kumaris as a spiritual research. You can join in and get into this research. Om Shanti Vidya.